do this, I'm going to do five evening meal ideas that are slim and well friendly. So I'm just going to show you what I'm making for tonight's tea. It's quite noisy. I've got four small onions in here. Chop them up. I'm browning them off. Then I'm going to add this beef mince that I bought in Sainsbury's. It was only £2.89 in the yellow sticker section. So that's quite a large pack there. So I'm going to add that to the pan, brown that off. And then for extra speed, I've got a massive tub of onion, not onions, massive tub of mushrooms there. And I've used about, I'd say about half the pack of mushrooms. So it looks a lot there. So I'm going to brown those off in the pan as well. Then I'm going to add some thin tomatoes and curry powder. So tonight's tea is curry mince. It's really simple and easy. It makes a massive batch. So it will do us two nights for tea this week. And I'll show you it when I get to the next step. So just added the mince and then browned that off and then added the mushrooms there. I'm now going to add this curry powder, which is pea on somewhere. It's the Asda's own one. I'm going to put about two tablespoons in there. Actually, I don't think there's maybe two tablespoons in there, so I might need to use another one out of another tub. But I usually use about one to two tablespoons. Depends how hot you want it, but it's on the medium anyway, so it won't be too hot. And then once I've done that, I'll add some chopped tomatoes and I'll also add a little bit of tomato puree as well to that. But I'll show you when I get to that stage. So that's the tomato puree and the tinned tomatoes in there. So I'll mix that through, I'll pop a lid on it and I'll leave it for about half an hour. And then I'll do some rice to have with that tonight. And I'll show you when it's all dished up as well. But I go without knowing if I told you So here's meal idea number two and this is using my slow cooker, this is my Morphe Richards one, absolutely love this because you can brown in the little bowl that's in there. So in there I've got stew and steak, so a pack of stew and steak which I've browned off and then I've added onions and carrots to that and then potatoes as well, so the onions and carrots will be sweet and the potatoes will be free. I've added about half a litre of stock, which was two beef stock cubes to there. So nice and simple, and that's all I've got in there. So I've put that on now on low, and that'll be ready for tea at five o'clock tonight. And I'll show you it when it's ready, but looking forward to that. Love using my slow cooker and don't use it enough. So that's meal idea number two. So meal idea number three is just a simple stir fry with some chicken in there, stir fried with a red onion and some broccoli. So red onion and broccoli are both speed foods. Then I've added some sweet corn there which is free, just frozen sweet corn. And I've also added some bamboo shoots in there as well which are speed. Cooked that through and I added some oyster sauce and the oyster sauce I have is free so just double check that yours is mixed it all together and cooked it through and then I've put some pasta in boiling water there and I'm just going to add that into there shortly and I'll show you when it's ready. So that's meal idea number three. So meal idea number Four is from the Pinch of Gnome Enjoy book. I've just bought this book, so this is the first recipe that I've done, and it's a spicy bolognese, spicy spaghetti bolognese. So this is everything that's in it. So low calorie cooking spray, which I didn't use, 5% minced beef I used, a three centimeter root ginger peeled and finely grated, three garlic cloves peeled and crushed, 75 mils of dark soya sauce, two teaspoons of sriracha sauce, two tablespoons of white granulated sweetener. I haven't used as much as that, so I don't need to sin it. Six spring onions trimmed and sliced. One carrot peeled and coarsely grated. One tablespoon of corn flour, which I haven't used. And we'll have the 300 grams of dried spaghetti, which I'll boil in a separate pan. And then on the top, it's got a quarter of the medium 
red chilli de-seeded and thinly sliced so I'll do that 10 grams of fresh coriander leaves which I hate so I won't be using that and it says to accompany with it is 80 grams of green beans which I don't have but I'm not too fussy about that that's what theirs looks like um, this is what mine looks like in the pan I reduced how much liquid I put in it but I did use two stock cubes as well just to make it a bit more flavoursome as well and I haven't used the corn flour like I said so I don't I don't need to sin for that and I'll need to sin for the sriracha sauce which was two teaspoons but it's for four of us so I will sin that accordingly but it looks really nice and I don't think there's any need for corn flour in there because the sauce isn't as thick. I think I put about 150 mils instead of the 200 but it actually seemed to disappear quite quickly into the into the mixture so I'm fine with that. So you're supposed to cook that for 45 minutes. You just brown everything off and add your liquid and the rest of the ingredients. Just throw it all in the pan basically. And it says to cook it for 45 minutes or probably be half an hour is about as long as I will cook it for and we'll have it with spaghetti and I'll show you a picture when it's So this is meal idea number five, so the last one in this video and we're going to go for the garlic and ginger curry and that is in the Pinch of Gnome Enjoy book. So the same book as last night. So this is what we need for the recipe. I've got everything now ready and I've got my chicken which is frozen chicken that you can cook from frozen so nice and easy. So the garlic and ginger curry, this is what's in it. Sorry about the lighting, but it's really dark here. So low calorie cooking spray, 800 grams of skinless, boneless chicken thighs, the fat removed and cut into chunks. Now I'm using chicken breast, 350 mils of chicken stock, one stock cube or cube dissolved in boiling water. I've actually used two stock cubes, two teaspoons of fenugreek seeds, one onion peeled and diced. I've actually used one and a half onions, four garlic cloves, peeled and crushed, three centimetres of piece of root ginger, peeled and finely grated, one green chilli, de-seeded and ch finely chopped, one and a half teaspoons of garam masala, one and a half teaspoons of ground cumin, one teaspoon of ground turmeric, half a teaspoon of chilli powder, half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, two tablespoons of tomato puree, one tin, 400 gram tin of chopped tomatoes and then it does say one tablespoon of mango chutney which I'm not going to use and a handful of fresh coriander which I'm also not going to use and then it says rice at the bottom there and you can add Greek yogurt as well which I'll not be adding that either so that's what theirs looks like I've got everything out here so I'm going to cook it away in the pan and I'll show you when it's ready so what the recipe says is to fry your chicken and then take your chicken out of the pan and then use that pan to cook everything else. But because I'm using frozen chicken, I'm just cooking that away in a pan on its own. And I'm just going to use a pot here to add all the other ingredients just for quickness really. And then I'll add it all to the pan and finish the cooking in my wok. So here's it all ready in the pan. It looks amazing. I'm hoping it's as nice as it looks. And I'll show you when it's on the plate. If I wrote you a poem, if I posted a letter. 